Support for Radio Friends comes from OsteoStrong. Improvements in bone density, strength, and power can be achieved by weekly five-minute no-sweat sessions on their four-spectrum machines. These isometric robotic machines safely emulate high-impact loading on different parts of the skeletal system, which stimulates activity in bone-building cells. Balance and agility can be improved by two-minute sessions on vibration plates. Every session is supervised by a trained coach. Learn more on Facebook or call to set up a complimentary wellness assessment and session. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, November the 2nd. Good to have you with us today. Robert Ricketts is sitting right next to me and Robert's been with us for what, about two years now or so? Our, about that, yeah. Our mm-hmm. uh, internet guru. It's good to have you. Robert from IT Como. And uh, here's a guy you can ask any questions about the internet, about setting up your computer, about setting up uh, mesh systems. You can answer them all. And you explained to us how the the cell phones work. I was amazed with that. A couple episodes ago, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. but today you wanted to touch on touch on the the different internet providers that are available in Central Missouri. That's right. Yeah. So what I want to kind of touch on is the various ways the internet can be delivered. So fiber versus cable, TV cable versus old school DSL, and even various satellite options, and then the different companies that provide those services. Yeah. Now, obviously, the best is going to be fiber. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, we live out in the country, so for years, all we could get was dial-up. Yeah, right. And and we lived with dial-up. I remember trying to download a song. It would take couple of hours to download one two and a half minute song and forget about watching video and all could be ruined if someone called you if if somebody (laughs) called you or if you picked up an extension right so that's pretty much gone now the the dial that's done does anybody have dial up anymore uh surprisingly a few ultra rural users that can't have no other option but it's pretty much dead yeah. these days. There's other rural options now. Yeah. Then, then there's, for the rural area, there's satellite internet. That's right, yeah. And what do you think about satellite internet? So there's two major flavors of satellite. You have the HughesNet and Viasat, and these services have satellites. Yeah, I'm going to geek out a little bit here. In geosynchronous orbit, those satellites are about 22, 23,000 miles up in the air. It takes a, quite a while for the radio waves to reach those satellites and come back to Earth. But a new satellite system called Starlink, which is launched by SpaceX, Elon Musk's company, these are low Earth orbit satellites, only two or 300 miles up in the air. So because of that, you get speeds and performance that's more like having a wired internet service. Is that available now? Uh, it's Yes, it's becoming available. People that have no other options are Can starting to subscribe to it. There's a bit of a wait list. It depends on where you live, what your wait list is. Um, but yeah. if you can get it, it's it's a decent internet service for those that have no other option. Right. Well, now, after the dial-up, I went to both HughesNet and Viasat. That's right. The satellite. The, uh, the, the, the speed was okay. It was about 12 megabytes or so. Mm-hmm. But the, the big thing was the expense, and you have a data cap. Right. And very low data cap. Very low data cap. And if you go over, I think it was $10 for each gigabyte that you would buy extra. And it's pretty expensive. Yeah, it's, it's very expensive. But you had high-speed internet. Right, right. Okay, then the next option is what? Well, so the best option, of course, is fiber. And Socket Internet has been on a tear deploying fiber around mid-Missouri. So that's a good thing. Uh, uh, fiber hoods all over the place. Mm-hmm. The other provider is Bright Speed which used to be part of CenturyLink. CenturyLink sold off some of their internet properties, including in central Missouri. So that's, that's also a fiber service. Then after that, you have Mediacom and then Charter Spectrum that does cable-based internet. So what is the benefit of having cable internet versus Fiber. There's, is there, there is no, none. No, there's a, the, the fiber, fiber is, is fiber the, is the big winner. And the key difference in fiber is the download and the upload speeds are usually the same. Symmetrical. There's, right. Symmetrical. Exactly. And upload is becoming more and more important as people have online based backup systems and they're working from home. They need that upload capacity. Yeah. That only fiber provides. Now, if you can't get fiber and you have cable, 
Are there any tips as far as the cable internet? Well, I mean, cable is a is a works well too. That's a decent service as well. It's Can you get probably, a gigabyte of, of of speed? I'm not sure that a gigabyte is available in Columbia yet, but the modem specifications that enable that do exist. But you're never going to get a symmetrical upload. So, and also with cable, is it not true? depending on how many other people are on that line that you're mm -hmm. sharing with them, if a lot of them are on, your speed can go down, correct? Uh, yeah, but that's not so bad nowadays because even with cable-based internet delivery, cable TV cable, the, the backhaul into most neighborhoods is still fiber. But the last mile, the subscriber loop, we say sometimes, that runs from the box to your home, the side of your home, that would still be cable TV cable. And in that case, you're the only one on that cable. So there's really no loss there. Okay. But, but some of these cable runs to the node can be a long way. Maybe the fiber is at the edge of the neighborhood and there's a long haul just to get to your home. Yeah. And the cable specifications for the how the signal travels on that wire does not really allow for a symmetric upload, at least not yet. So the best, then what you're saying is the, the best internet, if you can get it, is fiber. Right. And there are two kinds of fiber, isn't it? Fiber to the, to the uh, curb and fiber to the house. It's still the fiber, but if you can come all the way to the house, then you're gonna have the best service. Right. So, so you're going strictly fiber from right. the company all the way all to your the house. All the way to the side of your house. But if you can only get fiber to the curb, you're, you're still... Well, if you have quote-unquote fiber service, it will be to the premises, to the side of your home. If it's fiber to the node, which that's could be I mean, to, the curb, to the curb, then that's probably going to be through a cable-based provider or other provider that doesn't really advertise fiber to the home. Okay, and then your speed's not gonna be as it fast. It'll, the downloads can be still very good, but you're gonna suffer on that upload speed. Yeah, you know, uh, for years, since living out in the country, as I said, we went from dial-up to uh, the satellite. Oh, and then I bought also the little uh, Mifi, uh, it, 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 it's, it's, uh, with the phone company. Yes, the little wireless hotspot. The hotspot. The little MiFi's. That's what, MiFi. Right. That's it. I used to call it MiFi. <laughs> uh, so the MiFi. And that worked fine, but again, you're, you're limited to what you can That's do with right, it. Right, and you have traffic limits. Usually, yeah. you're low priority on any MiFi device. Okay. Mobile users always get top priority. We're out of systems. time, Robert, but let me tell you if you have any questions at all about how to set something <clears throat> up with your computer, or with your internet, here is the guy to talk to. Uh, how do they get in touch with you, Robert? Uh, well, the easiest way is itcomo.com. All my contact information is there. Okay, or you can call 999-9849 for more information. Right. But it really, he can talk to you about anything and help you out. Robert, it's been a pleasure knowing, getting to know you. Thank you so much for appearing with us on Radio Absolutely. Friends. All right. Thank you. And uh, give him a call if you got any questions. We're out of time for today. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. That'll be our final show. We've got two special guests and some music to share. Bye-bye.